Hi, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen. Guess what? I've got two girls in my kitchen. This is my oldest daughter. This is my granddaughter, and we've got a show for you today. And guess what? We don't have to turn the stove on. It's going to be all uh, cold ingredients, and my daughter's going to show you how to make shrimp ceviche. And there's three ways to do it, and we're going to show you all three ways. And so, girls, let's get the show started. Cheers. We are back on, and I'm going to go over the ingredients with you. You are going to need a half a pound of cooked shrimp and then a half a pound actually I got a fourth of a pound of the baby shrimp you're gonna need four tomatoes but I think did we use three, three. rice three tomatoes um, it's up to you you can add more or less of what we're showing you we've got one cucumber cut up we've got about a fourth an eighth cup of cilantro and my favorite thing you know is minced jalapeno that's about half of one we've got red onion here it's about a fourth cup you're gonna need five lemons one avocado we have today but we love more but we only have one so you can add more to your preference we've got these uh, tostadas the crispy tostadas the chips because we're gonna show you how to do it this way clamato garlic salt pepper salt and then we've got my favorite thing Morton's nature season and I think that's it and of course we've got chile macho here for the top and you can use okay so this is my recipe and the way I came up with it are we I should say my husband and I we had went to a friend's of ours and she makes shrimp cocktail and she uses the clamato and crab we're both not fans of the crab or the clamato so we literally eliminated those two ingredients and this is how we came up with ours so the first step you're going to do is pre-wash all of your shrimp and these don't have tails so they're ready to go. You're just going to add them into the bowl. They're already cleaned and good to go. With these ones they have a tail so you have to take off each tail before you can put them in to the dish. So after you remove every single tail you're going to then come and soak the lemon in. My mom is over here. She's doing the lemon juice for me. So. We'll be right back. We're gonna finish up uh, taking the tails off and we'll come to back to the next step. Okay, so we have all the shrimp peeled and ready to go. We're gonna go ahead and add the lemon juice that my mom already um, juiced. juiced. Five lemons. So that's five lemons. Mm -hmm. So what we do is just kind of soak them in there, move them around a little bit. Just get the lemon on all of them, just a little bit. And then from there, after you just move them around a little bit, you're going to put it in the refrigerator so it could get cold. And then while it's cold, usually I'm chopping all the veggies. But since we've already pre-chopped the veggies, we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is putting all the veggies in a bowl. I don't measure the seasoning I just do by look so um, this one my grandma has always said to shake it so we shake it and then I just I just it's the nature's seasoning it's the seasoning blend I just go over maybe three times like that um, I just do a couple times of pepper garlic salt I love I just do a little bit of garlic salt like that and then we're gonna add a little bit of salt that and then we're just gonna mix it up again so we just combine all of them together with all the seasonings super easy super refreshing mm, we're not cooking, oh, it looks so delicious the stove on. so, so this, is nice. about this is the next step and then we'll be right back okay so we already have all our veggies cut up we have our shrimp soaking in the lemon so we're at our last step and then we're gonna go ahead and enjoy it we're, oh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the veggies in here. I'm going to mix it all together. Get all those veggies in there. Okay. And now we're just going to mix it all together. It's so pretty. Mm. So colorful. Refreshing. Nice summer. Easy to make. Yeah. 
easy. It is one of our favorites at the house in the summer. So then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more seasoning. And you can add as much as you want, but I always do this in my step. Oh, I forgot to shake. <laughs> shake Every it up. Time. Okay. Every time. And we're gonna just add a little bit of salt. And my favorite, garlic. So we're gonna mix that again together. Get it all blended. Oh gosh, it looks so good. Okay. And then at the end, we're gonna go ahead and add the avocado. We add it at the end so it doesn't get mushy and it stays real purty. And I, I just, and we that's just like a cube. We cubed cube. it all up. Kind of a cubed. Okay. So it's all mixed and ready to go. If you want it more colder, you can actually put it in the refrigerator for a few minutes and let it get cold. If not, it's ready to go. I'm gonna show you the two ways that we eat it at our house. So my husband, he eats it on a tostada shell. You just add some right here. And then, of course, we add the tapatio. And it is ready to go. You can eat it just like that. And then another is if you have guests like usually sometimes we have guests over we just eat it like with the chips as a dip so we serve it on a plate like this and then you would just put some chips on it and it's ready to go and there you go it's a dip also so that is it. It's super simple, refreshing for the summer, and delicious. All right, my mom's gonna go ahead and show you the other two ways that she wants to make, um, the way she makes it. Thank you. Okay, we're back on almost a wrap up here. I'm gonna show you the other two ways. You're gonna go ahead and wanna scoop it from here. You're gonna wanna shake your Clamato, and then you're gonna go ahead and put a little bit in there and it's gonna get like a red color. Just toss it around real quick. And then there is the one with your Clamato. But my personal favorite, of course, is going to be this one because you know I am going to add some jalapenos, diced jalapenos. And then I'm gonna have to then scoop this in there. You're gonna toss it around. And let me see, I'm gonna need another spoon. You're gonna toss this up and now you've got your jalapenos in there. I want to show you a beautiful way to serve this. Let's see if I can get it in this little. This is sometimes at a really nice fancy restaurant. They will do this and it's a Mexican cocktail and it's so beautiful. Oh, let's see if I can actually get this all in here. And you would order it like this with the Clamato and then you would top it with a little pinch of the jalapenos and then you're going to put two beautiful tails shrimps on there and you would serve it like that with a nice spoon and that would be a beautiful cocktail and then we've got our other one here with just the minced jalapenos so there's the two other ways that you can do it <gasps> i'm going to try this though oh this mm, oh my goodness You've got to try this. It's so good. And I'm going to eat this in front of you. Mm. <laughs> okay. We've got the scripture of the day now. And we've got my granddaughter here. And she's going to go ahead and share it. The scripture of the day is Psalms 40, verse 1 and 2. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. He turned his head, heard my cry, and lifted me out of the pit of despair. Okay. Now we want to give thumbs up. And what were you going to say? Make sure to turn on um, notifications so you don't miss the videos. Yes. So thank you so much. Bye. Give us a thumbs up and a like. And tell your friends to subscribe. And you have a great evening. I'm going to put that.